Animals being put down at an alarming rate. That's the claim on Facebook being shared across the state. The post is from a former employee of the Greater Androscoggin Humane Society who was recently fired from the shelter. The Humane Society says her claims about the euthanasia rate are not true. Now there's a battle on social media before claims from either side can be verified. This Facebook post from Amanda Kimball is in the news feeds of people all over Maine. The post got thousands of shares and reactions on social media. She claims in the six weeks since the former manager left, the number of animals euthanized has doubled. The post even sparked other animal advocacy organizations to respond. We're actually feeling really distraught over here at what is happening at some of the shelters in Maine. But Kimball's claims have not been verified either by the shelter or the Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry, which oversees animal welfare. The Humane Society posted its own response, saying euthanizations did not double, they actually decreased in that six week time period. Amanda Kimball writes that the Greater Androscoggin Humane Society fired her earlier this week, but does not say why. We tried to speak to both Kimball and the management at the Humane Society, but neither one returned our messages. Now, a lot of you have seen this story on social media, so we looked into what requirements shelters have to follow when it comes to euthanizations. Shelters are required to report a number of statistics on animals that come and go from their facilities, including euthanizations. They report those statistics each year to the DACF, so the department says there's no way to immediately confirm if the numbers Kimball or the Humane Society claim about that six-week period of time this year are true. In 2017, however, the Greater Androscoggin Humane Society put down a total of uh, 31 dogs and 21 cats. The Humane Society wrote in its Facebook post, our new operations manager is follow following the board approved policies GAHS had in effect prior to his appointment. These policies have been in place for years. Euthanasia is a last resort. Well, a lot of you had questions today on Facebook because you thought Maine only had no kill shelters. We do, but it may not mean what you think. In fact, there really is no clear definition of a no-kill shelter. In fact, the ASPCA says it doesn't typically use that phrase because it has no standard definition. Some animal organizations refer to no-kill shelters as having at least a 90% save rate. Others say they are shelters that do not kill animals simply due to space reasons.